Hello all and welcome to today's Sefer portion. Shemo Exodus 18, 17 and 18. And all the assembly of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of Sin after their journeys, according to the commandments of Yahuwah, and pitched in Rephidim. And there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore the people did chide with Moshe and say, Give us water that we may drink. And Moshe said unto them, Why, chi why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt all of Tob Yahuwah? And the people thirsted there for water, and the people murmured against Moshe and said, Wherefore is this, that you have brought us up out of Mitzrayim to kill us, and all of top our children, and all of top our cattle with thirst? And Moshe cried unto El Yahuwah, saying, What shall I do unto this people? They be almost ready to stone me. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Go on before the people, and take with you out of the elders of Israel in your rod, wherewith you smote all of Tav at the river in your hand, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there upon the rock of Horeb. And you shall smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, that the people may drink. And Moshe did so in the sight of the elders of Israel, and he called the name of the place Mecca, in Moribah. Because of the ch chiding of the children of Israel, and because they tempted Olatov et Yahuwah, saying, Is Yahuwah among us or not? Then came Amalek, and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moshe said unto El Yahusha, Come us out of, come us out, men, and go fight with Amalek tomorrow. I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of Elohim in my hand. So Yahusha did as Moshe had said to him, and fought with Amalek. And Moshe, Aaron, and Shor, sorry, her, went up to the top of the hill, and it came to pass when Moshe held up his Moshe held up his hand that Israel prevailed when he let down his hand Amalek prevailed but Moshe's hand Moshe's hands were heavy and they took the stone and put it under him and he sat thereon and Aaron and Shur sorry her stayed up his hands the one on one side and the other on the other side and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun and Yahusha discomforted all of Tav Amalek and all of his people with the edge of the sword and Yahuwah said unto Moshe write this for a memorial in a sephir and rehearse it in the ears of Yahusha for I will utterly put out all of Tav it the remembrance of Amalek from under the heavens and Moshe built an altar and called the name of it Yehusha Nisai. For he said, Because Yah has sworn that Yahuwah will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. When Yithro the priest, sorry, chapter 18, when Yithro the priest of Midian, El Moshe's father-in-law, heard, heard of all, of, of Ed, all that Elohim had done for Moshe, and for all of Tav et Yisrael his people, and that Yahuwah had brought Yisrael out of Mitzrayim. Then Yeshua Moshe's father-in-law took all of Tav et Sephora, Moshe's woman, after he had sent her back, and all of Tav et her two sons, of which the name of one was Gershom. For he said, I have been an alien in a strange land. And the name of the other was Eliezer. For Elohim of my father, he said, was my help, and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. And Yithro, Moshe's father-in-law, came with his sons and his woman unto Moshe, into the wilderness where he encamped at the mount of Elohim. And he said unto Moshe, I, your father-in-law, I, your father-in-law Yithro, am come unto you. And your woman and her two sons with her, and Moshe went out to meet his father-in-law, and did obeisance, and kissed him. And they asked each other of their welfare. And they came into the tent, and Moshe told his father-in-law all that Yahuwah had done unto Pharaoh, and to the Mishraim, for Yisrael's sake. 
and all to avoid all that travail that had come upon them by the way, and how Yahuwah delivered them, and Yitro rejoiced for all the goodness which Yahuwah had done to y Yisrael, whom he had delivered out of the hand of the Mishraim. And Yitro said, Blessed be Yahuwah, who has delivered you out of the hand of the Mishraim, and out of the hand of Pharaoh, who has delivered all of Tavet, the people from under the hand of the Mishraim. Now I know that Yahuwah is greater than all the Elohim, for in the thing wherein they dealt proudly, he was above them. And Yithro, Moshe's father-in-law, took a burnt offering and sacrifices for Elohim, and Aaron came, and all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moshe, Moshe's father-in-law before Elohim. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moshe sat up, sat to judge all of the people, and the people stood by Moshe from the morning until the evening. And when Moshe's father-in-law saw all of Tavet, all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that you do to the people? Why sit you yourself alone, and all the people stand by you from morning until evening? And Moshe said unto his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of Elohim. When they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and the other. And I do make them know all of it, the statues of Elohim, and all of it is Torah. And Moshe's father-in-law said unto him, The thing that you do is not good. You will surely wear away, both you and this people that is with you. For this thing is too heavy for you. You are not able to perform it yourself alone. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give you counsel, and Elohim shall be with you. Before the people to Elohim... Be for the people to Elohim word, that you may bring all of Tavet the causes unto Elohim, and you shall teach them all of Tavet ordinances and all of Tavet Torah, and shall show them all of Tavet the way wherein they must walk in all of Tavet the work that they must do. Moreover, you shall provide out of the people able men, such as fear Elohim, men of truth, hating covetousness. And place them over them to be rulers of thousands, and rulers of hundreds, and rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And let them judge people at all seasons. And it shall be that every man, sorry, every great matter they shall bring unto you. But every small matter they shall judge. So shall it be easier for you, sorry, for yourself. And they shall bear the burden with you. And if you shall do Allah Tavet this thing, and Elohim command you so, then you shall be able to endure, and all this people shall also go to their place in peace. So Moshe hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. And Moshe chose able men out of all Israel, and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, and rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And they judged Allah Tavet the people at all seasons, the hard causes they brought unto Moshe. But every small matter they judged themselves, and Moshe let all of Tavet his father-in-law depart, and he went his way into his own land. Well, that is today's read. Until next time, I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.